everyone, Cactus Jack here. I'm gonna try and give you some good tips on how to grow an opuntia, how to root it and how to grow it in a pot. Uh, there's, first of all, a couple of uh, videos out on the internet that I want you to stay away from. There's one that says to root them in water, and it's ridiculous, don't even go near that. There's another one that says that you can take an opuntia pad, slice it here in the middle, bury it in your dirt, and babies will start showing up here. That isn't true. Uh, plants by nature have an up and they have a downside. And if you put the, da the upside down, what will happen is when it starts growing, it will grow down and then up to the dirt and you'll get a real skinny cactus coming up. So don't do that. Uh, the only way to do it is uh, cutting a pet off, letting it uh, scab over. I use a little bit of rooting hormone. Uh, any, any rooting hormone is fine. Uh, if you don't have rooting hormone, sulfur from uh, a feed and seed store will work just as good. Sulfur is very good for, uh, for cactus and, and scabbing stuff over. Um, what you should do after you do that, uh, before you start out, uh, grab yourself a couple of bags of uh, soil mix from uh, Home Depot. That's what I use. I use uh, miracle Grow uh, citrus, cactus, and palm soil, and I mix uh, four parts of that in with two parts of perlite and two parts of sand. Don't use beach sand, use uh, builder sand or uh, clay sand. That's the only ones that work really, really good. Once you do that, mix it up really, really good, put it in your pot. What I do here, I just put a little bit of newspaper on the bottom to keep uh, to keep the dirt from falling out. Newspaper is biodegradable, so nothing will happen to it. Uh, the dirt won't fall out and eventually it'll rot and become part of the, uh, part of the pot. So what you do, you get yourself uh, one of these things, and if you have some that are really, really spiny, really, really, a lot of stickers, go to a Dollar Tree. These things are a dollar. And uh, you, can, you can get these at the Dollar Tree, and you can use them to hold your really spiny pads. This one right here is not that, uh, that bad, because this is uh, uh, called a Huarache here in South Texas. This is. Uh, uh, that means sandal, what actually means sandal, you can tell it does look like a sandal. But uh, when you cut it, you let it uh, scab over for at least three, four days. Here in South Texas, we let them scab over a day and they're done because we're so hot here. Uh, the heat starts in here in April and lasts all the way through September up to 100 and over every, every single day. Up in the northern climates, you might have to let it root, I mean, uh, scab over for at least uh, a week maybe 10 days but uh, the point is uh, be wise about it don't overdo it stick your your little pad here dig a hole in your pot right there like that stick it in there and you don't have to be very gentle with them they're tough little guys and remember cactus are full of water a cactus pad is full of water so they're not going to need that much water what you might want to do you might want to spray it with a little bottle just to keep the, the topsoil uh, from flying away but uh, that's all you need to do once you plant it in there just get a little bit of uh, pea gravel like this just put it around you can use it as top dressing and it'll help you the cactus stay in there that's basically all you have to do and then uh, just let it grow remember no no uh, no rooting in water no rooting them upside down that doesn't work uh, all the areoles will throw out roots if you plant them outside now, but nothing will grow. So, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them. I'm always here to help out, whatever I can do. Not, uh, not an expert, but I know a lot about cactus, and uh, whatever you get from me will be the truth. So, if you like my video, subscribe, hit the little button, hit the little bell, and I'll be here whenever you need something. Nice to talk to you.